let me guess. You hopped over to YouTube because you figured you'd find a video which shows you the very fastest method to grind Imperial and Federation rank within Elite Dangerous. Well, this is your lucky day, Commander. I am going to show you how to get the glorious cutter. Once you know exactly which three systems to farm in for your Imperial rank, I will show you exactly where to farm to get yourself a Federal Corvette. There are a few pretty decent systems to grind your Federal rank in. Unfortunately, one of those routes is almost always on lockdown. It happens at least once every month, so I'm not going to feature that location. This video was requested by Nate on Patreon. Thank you very much for being a Patreon supporter, Nate. This video is for you. When you are ready to start grinding for rank, it is best to do it in a small or medium sized ship, one that's really good and maneuverable and has a little bit of cargo space. I will be using my Diamondback Explorer Age Cheddar. Hickam Survey will be your starting point for the Imperial Grind and it is located in the Nagalan system. This method is extremely donation heavy so make sure that you bring a whole bunch of Space Cheddar I recommend at least 75 to 100 million before you start doing this run. There is a freaking boat pile of Imperial Agents here so check each one of these for the donation missions it really does speed up the process. The other thing you want to keep in mind when you start doing your rate grinding is timing is everything. If these systems are in either boom or outbreak or a combination of both, there will be a ton more missions for you. When you're grinding for your Imperial rank, you will mostly be doing donation missions as well as courier missions. Here's another handy tip when you're selecting courier missions. The destination agent is what matters the most, so you actually can pick up missions from other agents that aren't Imperial or Federation. And as long as their turn-in agent is either Imperial or Federation, you are good to go. You will actually be able to cash in and get rep. So make sure you check those other agents. They will have locations that you can get rep from. After you have pretty much donated all you could and snagged up all the missions that you could, reload the mission board just one more time. Sometimes there will be more missions for you. Once you have obtained at least 100% rank in any level, you will then find a different type of mission that has to do with naval intelligence. You'll either want to do a courier or a delivery type mission. Until you complete that naval mission, it is still going to show you at only 100% experience for that rank, but never fear, you can still gain rank past that 100%. The very next system we are going to is Mainani. It only has one station in it. It's called Miles Van Der Rohe's Claim. Here is a handy little super cruise trick that will shave off a whole bunch of time. The rules are you must be going under 2C and you do not try to slingshot yourself towards the target until you are at least 4 light seconds away. If you do it just right, you will hurdle at your target at tremendous speeds, fast enough to send you in a loop of shame, but your super cruise assist will always pull you out just in time. This little time saving trick adds up considering you're going to be doing this grind for several hours. That means you'll be able to pump out several more missions per hour. I also highly recommend that you get yourself a docking computer, especially with these medium sized stations. It just makes landing a little easier and faster, at least for me, because I suck at landing at these medium sized stations. Here we are at Miles Van Der Rohe's claim, and it is now time to cash in all these courier missions and then restock and head to the third system. At this system, you generally will not find too many of the donation missions, but oh my goodness, the next system we are going to go to, you better have a big giant fat wallet filled with space cheddar. Whenever you do these turn-ins, always make sure that you pick reputation as an option if it's available. If not, you are definitely shooting yourself in the foot, Commander. Once you've stocked up on missions for your starter system as well as 8 vast, it is now time to head over to Fletner Survey. When you get here, you better be prepared to drop several million dollars on these donation missions because here, there are tons of them. Whenever I'm cashing in my missions and I can't choose reputation as my reward, I'll almost always go for the engineering materials. If you start this run with zero Imperial rank, you can go from zero to cutter in about five hours. Just bring a whole bunch of money. As you can imagine, scarfing up engineering materials for 5 hours, you are going to have a whole bunch of those as well. The other thing I want to point out about selecting missions, and it does affect both Imperial and Federation, do not select any missions that require planetary landings. Planetary landings might offer a bigger payout, but trust me, the time is not worth it. Just stick with going from station to station and stacking as many courier missions as possible. 
After you have cashed in all your missions at 8 Vass, it is now time to head back to Nagalan and cash in all the missions that we picked up in Mainani. It's time to bust out your wallet again and get ready to fork out a bunch of space bucks because we are right back in the very beginning, the start of the Imperial Grind, back at Hickam Survey. What can I say? I guess I got a little carried away. It is time to move on to the Federation rank grind. It is basically exactly the same with a whole heck of a lot less donation missions. We will be using the Sothos and Seos data delivery missions in order to get our Federation rank to max. We will also be doing a sprinkling of donation missions. The Federation grind starts at Valinsky Enterprise. We are going to snag up every single data delivery mission we can from every single station in this system. The glorious thing about this situation is this system is currently under boom and outbreak status. That is going to be awesome for us. Once you have donated and grabbed up every single data type delivery mission you can snag up from the federal agent here, check every single one of the other guys. They will also have missions that end with the federal agent. If you were not able to stack 20 missions total, it is now time to head over to Don's Inheritance. Chances are you will be able to stack up to 20 missions by heading over to Don's Inheritance, but if you don't, then head over to New Home Station. Don't forget to do the Super Cruise Assist trick I showed you earlier. This really shaves a lot of time off each of your approach landings. When you approach your target at 75% speed, sure you're not going to do a loop of shame, but that just takes too much daggone time, so I like to do the Super Cruise Assist trick. Once you have 20 missions stacked and you can stack no more, head over to CEOs and start cashing them in as quickly as possible. If you are going to donate to a mission giver, make sure that that agent is actually a federal agent or you're basically wasting your money. Ah, the countdown to rep. 3, 2, 1, give me my daggone federal Corvette. Once you have arrived in CEOs, you are going to be visiting each and every station in this system in order from the sun. You'll be dropping off all your day delivery missions at these stations, donating when you can, and it all starts at Bernal Hub. At this point, you should run into a constant problem of being maxed out mission stack, meaning you can only have 20 missions at a time. This is good for you. It does take just a little bit to start that up, but once you get maxed out, you are always maxed out. Notice I have tons of missions to hand in, and some of these mission agents right here show exclamation points, and they are not Federation rank. The thing is, I started that mission with the Federation Unite guy, so I will still get full credit and full reputation for turning it in. The other type of missions you can think about doing are these delivery missions. Just keep in mind you likely will get interdicted. Next stop is New Dawn Station. It's basically a drop off and pick up again. Donate as much as you can. Grab every single data delivery mission that heads to Sothis that either starts with Federation Unite or ends with Federation Unite. Always, always, always select reputation when available and if you can't, take the engineering materials whenever they're offered to you. Now that we are all stocked up again, it is the very last stop in Seos. We are going to head to Babbage Gateway. Once we wrap up all of our donating business and stocking back up on some more missions, we'll be heading back to Southis and we're going to start the loop all over again. I can't stress this enough, do not take any missions that deal with planetary landings, and I do highly recommend that you do those little mini delivery missions because they add spice to your life when you have pirates chasing you all over the place. Don't get too concerned with there only being one Federation agent here in this system. There are plenty of federal missions to go around. The other thing that you might want to consider doing while you are grinding out these missions is do them in solo mode. That way you don't have actual players trying to buck you down at the exact same time. The other thing I need to mention before we wrap up this video is if you start out and you have no faction with these guys, you're going to find fewer missions. Completing missions will increase the faction with these mission givers and they will start handing you out more and more missions. Back in Sothis, it is now time to head back over to Valensky's Enterprise and start the loop all over again. I hope that this guide was helpful to you and it helps you get a cutter of your very own. As well as getting your hands on the mobile Death Star which is the Federal Corvette. The cutter as well as every other ship you can unlock doing the Imperial missions are well worth it. I absolutely love those ships. Not only do you unlock some pretty damn impressive ships doing this rank grinding, you also unlock mini system permits doing this. 
really hope you enjoyed this How to Grind Federation and Imperial Rank video. I hope it helps your gameplay. Thank you, Patreons. I'll catch you in the next video.